but many of us have given up doing it or we have no avenue to do it. Joyce Cruzat has a world of information that she knows and, and can do. Her husband was one of my mentors. Pop Hobson is now training Ed Brownlee. I hope he has some luck training him how to speak because I ain't seen it yet, but maybe he'll change. <laughs> uh, he trained me though, so he's awfully good at what he does. And he trained uh, Pastor Jerry J.D. to too tall, who was supposed to be here as well. So Pop knows something about training public speakers. He's training Gary Maybe too. Good luck with that, too, by the way. I'm praying for you. But uh, <laughs> the is, nonetheless, uh, I know that so many of you have so much to offer. And absolutely, we're going to open an avenue for that to take place. Now, understand what I'm saying. The experts we bring in, for example, it's, it's about to get cold. Not maybe this year or maybe later this year, Jim Hoffman, I envision you coming in, maybe with Ham and a couple of other folk who work or have worked in, in construction, who can tell us how to keep our houses warm without using up heat like crazy. In other words, how can we put in some sort of foam or whatever we need to do to improve our insulation? That's not something, I've been to a whole lot of universities. I can't do it and don't know how. He does. So we all have our gifts. Those gifts may or may not. You know, we've gotten prejudice. What, what letters he got behind it? What letters you got behind your name? Now, what difference does it make to you anyway? And besides, half of the time they don't mean anything and they don't do anything. It's, you know, I, I read a brother recently, D-D-S-P-A-C-L-L-C. -L -L -C. I was like, dude, please. You can write that. If you do, you're crazy. The point is it doesn't mean anything. Yes, sir, Reverend Brown. Yeah, I just want to say that, uh, first off, Congratulations on um, <clears throat> your undertaking. Thank you, sir. And I'm certain that it's going to be successful and have the impact that you want it to have. Uh, I welcome it, and I think the community needs it. Thank you, sir. And, um, you know, one thing that I've noticed, we don't really pay attention to a lot of things. We don't. And, you know, if you take a dollar bill, mm -hmm. and we've been handling these all our lives, mm -hmm. And probably one in a million people know what this means, this pyramid here. Mm -hmm. And it says in Latin, it says, and I said it like for two years, three years. I knew it, except this, Novos Oro Seguloro. Get it. Here. Get it. I knew it, except this, Novos Oro Seguloro. Now. I knew it, except this means God has smiled on this undertaking. Mm -hmm. So anytime you hand somebody a dollar bill, whatever enterprise in you're initiating, you blessing that That's right. with this. That's right. Novos oro secularum means the new world order. Mm -hmm. And then the Roman numerals mean 1776. Mm -hmm. Roosevelt changed this symbol on the dollar bill, mm -hmm. 1935 during the height of the depression. And what they were saying to the people by printing these dollar bills and have them circulate throughout the economy and throughout the communities, they were saying that God will not allow us to fail. All right. God All right. has smiled well, on this fine. undertaking. Now. And so I believe that that is what happened tonight here yes, sir. by this initiative that you have began. Yes, sir. Now, you might not be the one to take it there. That's right. But it will it will get there. That's right. There has never been a need that hadn't been met. And so I think that the call went out, and you're not being able to sleep and to wrestle with that. Yeah. That's all a part of answering the call. That's right. And those of us who know and are familiar with the call, then we hear you. Mm. And so even though we might not be in your presence, mm -hmm. then the spirit and the support we send to you will support you, and our prayer will sustain you. God bless you, my brother. God bless you.